up viewers, welcome to my review of Earthfall. This review has been created based on the PC version of the game. So what we have here is the latest and greatest release from the team over at Holospark. It's available on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. The game features two separate campaign stories, each made up of five chapters given initial ten chapters of gameplay in the base game. I also believe it's in Hollow Spark's plan to release further campaigns as DLC in the future. Graphically for myself at least, the game is solid running on a pretty decent i7 6700K with a 1080 graphics card. Everything looks good and runs smooth even when things do get a bit hectic. I've never noticed any drops in frame rate, etc. Having said that, there are undoubtedly better looking games out there. It does look nice, but it's certainly not top of class in the graphics department but they are certainly good enough to get the job done. When it comes to the audio, I'm a big fan of what they've done. Gun effects in particular have a great meaty sound to them. Reading off shotgun shots just brings a smile to my face. Music wise, the game features a decent enough background orchestral number that suits the game nicely, and I've never felt the urge to turn it off, which is unusual for me when it comes to game music. When it comes to gameplay, and you'll probably have heard this said about this game before, this is essentially left for dead with aliens replacing the zombies. It does everything pretty well whilst doing nothing exceptionally new at the same time. There are certain special alien types such as the Sapper, Fresher, Blackout and Whitmash each having a unique talent to quickly send the battle into a further chaos. Probably one of the game's main defining points is the ability to set up barricades and turrets etc at certain points which enable you to prepare for battle before pressing a button that may set off a hold. I must also give special mention to the AI who really do have an annoying tendency to run in front of your gunfire and then moan at you for shooting at them. Initially it's a funny charming feature, after a few hours though it can really frustrate. Online the game works pretty flawlessly, with the ability to just start a game straight away on your own with bots, with other players able to join on the fly, or likewise you can just quick join a game at any time, and I've never had any issue. Overall I would say this is a typical summer release game, it really is a decent shooter that does nothing new. This is Hollow Spark's first game, so I think it's a very good baseline from them, and I look forward to what they will produce going forward. Rating the game now, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. As always guys, hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching guys, see you.